G'day, so a few people have said that um, they're not quite sure how the disk imager works. Um, it's all pretty straightforward. Um, so as you can see, I've got the um, actual boot image and I've also got the installation software. So if I just go ahead and start that, um, the first thing it does is it asks me if I want to allow it to make changes to the machine. That was on another screen, so I clicked yes. Um, I then accept the terms of the agreement and go next. Um, I generally just leave it in the default location. Next and go next again and it'll create a shortcut for me in the, in the, in the start menu. You can also do a desktop shortcut if you want, no big thing. And then we go install. Okay, so I'm not gonna look at the readme, you can do that if you want. So I'm gonna launch the program and uh, as we can see, it has automatically selected um, my SD card. The only thing I need to do is I just need to jump in and give it the location of the actual file. So if I just copy that from the path, drop that in, and there's my image. So I open my image uh, and I'm now ready to write. So all I need to do is just press write and then confirm that I want to um, do that. Um, remembering this will wipe any data that's on the card. So I just click yes to that. And uh, it takes around about a minute to write it out, something like that. It's pretty quick. Righto, so that's confirmed that the write was successful uh, and it's ready to go. Um, so something worth noticing, noting is um, it will open up and show you the drive. So if I now go look at that D drive, that's all I can see in D. So that's the, the, boot, the boot part of um, that image. I don't see the actual full image itself. Okay, so uh, if you're having a little bit of trouble with that process or any questions, I hope that helps.